Hi, and welcome to this video on ratio and proportion. Maths made easy. A ratio expresses how something is divided or shared out and is the relationship between the two values. For example, if we share out apples between Ali and Betty and every time we're distributing the apples or sharing them out we give Ali three apples and Betty one apple the ratio is expressed as three to one the order in which we write down the ratio and also the order in which we distribute between Ali and Betty is important so it becomes Ali is A and Betty is B is 3 to 1 and sometimes we can write this as 3 to 1 like that or 3 to 1 now when we're looking at uh, this distribution that we're giving 3 to 1 or this ratio that we're giving 3 to 1 each one of these can be considered as a unit so that's one unit that apple is another unit and that apple is another unit so the ratio becomes 3 to 1 now we can multiply the units by the same number and the relationship between the 3 and the 1 remains the same. Betty will always get one third the amount Ali has. Or the other way around, Ali will always get three times the share that Betty gets. For example, if we multiply by three, so the ratio then becomes, so we're going to multiply by a factor of three, the ratio then becomes nine to three Ali to Betty Betty still gets one third of what Ali gets and Ali gets three times what Betty gets so the relationship remains the same similarly to multiplication um, where we multiply both the numbers in the ratio by the same multiplication factor we can also divide so if we have the 9 to 3 as a ratio and we divide both the 9 and the 3 by 3 we get back to the original 3 to 1 so when we're expressing the ratio we divide in division we divide by the highest common factor which in this case was 3 the difference between the two units now let's have a look at that this is an important fact as well um, the difference between the two units say we had 12 to 4 as the ratio and the difference is 8 the difference is the product of the difference between the units and the multiplication factor let's have a look at that so if the difference is 8 that equals the difference in the units and multiplied by the multiplication factor so in this case where the difference was 8 we divide by 
the difference in the units which was 2. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And to get back to how many apples Ali and Betty originally have, we multiply the 4 for Ali by 3. And multiply the 4 by 1 to find how many Betty has. So that becomes 12 and 4. The total number of units, so in this case for Ali and Betty it's 4. If we divide the total number of apples that Ali and Betty have by 4, that gives us one unit value. For example, if we said there were 16 apples in total, so we divide 16 by 4 and that gives you 4 If we want to then know how many Ali has, we divide times 4 by 3. And if we want to know how much Betty has, we multiply 4 times 1. And the total is 16. Use proportions when we're solving questions on recipes where a ratio is involved, map scales, currency, where again ratios are involved, and also in pharmacy where there's uh, dilutions being carried out and chemistry where formulas rely on having a set proportion. So let's have a look at some of these examples. So in an example for a recipe, if we have a recipe for strawberry jam, we have in the original recipe that we need sugar and strawberries. For every 150 gram of sugar, we need 200 grams of strawberries. So the ratio becomes 150 over 200. And this is exactly equal to any multiple of that ratio. So, for example, if we had 300 grams of sugar, so we multiplied the top, which is the sugar, by 2. We need to multiply the bottom by 2, so that becomes 400 grams. So, for 300 grams of sugar, we would need 400 grams of strawberry. On a map scale, usually... The ratio is quite large, so it's usually given as 1 to say 50,000. And what this means for every one unit on the map, we have 50,000 units on the ground in actual measurements. So if we have three, say, centimetres on the map, then we have 150,000 centimetres on the ground.
say we had a convert for every pound we got a hundred and sixty rupees so pounds two rupees for every one pound we get a hundred and sixty rupees so for 33 rupees if we had I mean sorry 33 pounds and we wanted to know how many rupees we'd get we multiply the top by 33 to get 33 so we have to multiply the bottom by the same number and we get 5,280 for 33 pounds converting it into rupees we would get 5,000 280 rupees. When we're doing proportions and solving questions using proportions we use what is called cross multiplication or cross products. Now what this means is if we have as in this proportion A, B, C, D we multiply across the equal sign so a b equals no we're going to cross multiply so a d equals c b so let's have a look at this with regards to one of these proportions so in the case of the strawberry and the sugar um, what I like to do is make a little box split it into four then have the ratio here that w from the original recipe so that would be 150 over 200 and then whatever we're going to make or whatever quantity we need to make have that in the other two boxes we need to be careful where we put the numbers so what I like to do is say if we're using sugar that was the 150 gram of sugar right there on the side and the strawberries like that here so for the sugar say we on we have 300 grams of sugar write that in there and then for the strawberries say we didn't know how many strawberries we needed we put an x so then when we cross multiply across the equal sign the equal sign there we get 150x equals 300 times 200 so x equals 300 times 200 divided by 150 do some questions on ratios just to help with our understanding in a party the ratio of girls to boys is 5 to 2 if 15 are girls how many are boys so we know that girls to boys the ratio is 5 to 2 so we also know that we have to multiply by the same factor to get the equivalent ratio so we know that if there's girls 5 from the original ratio multiplied by a multiplication factor x 
will equal 15. So the multiplication factor x equals 3, which is 15 divided by 5. And now to get the boys, we multiply by the same multiplication factor x. So it becomes 2 times 3, that's the boys, which is 6. So we have 15 girls and 6 boys. In this question on ratios, a triangle has sides length in the ratio 2 to 5 to 4 and the total perimeter is 99 centimeters what is the length of ABC which is the three lengths of the triangle sides so let's draw a diagram so we have the lengths 5 will be the longest then we'll have a to say four, obviously this is not a scale, and we'll have A, B, and C. So we know that the ratio of length is two to five to four, and that is from A, B. See, remember that the order is important as well. So we add the parts in the frac in the ratio. So that's nine add two is eleven. So eleven multiplied by a factor, say x equals ninety nine. x equals 9. Now all we do for different sides is multiply by the number in the ratio. So that's for a it's 2 times the multiplication factor. For b it's 5 times the multiplication factor. And for C, it's 4 times the multiplication factor. So that becomes 18 centimetres. That becomes 45 centimetres. And this one becomes 36 centimetres. And as a quick check, we'll total it up. And the total should be 99 centimetres, just as a double check. How much beef do I need to buy? So it's a proportion question. Let's do by cross multiplication or cross products. Draw a square with four sections. Right, so in the first section, we put our known ratio, which is R. And here we have the number of people. And here we have the weight of the beef. So we know the ratio, the number of people, four, and we need 450 gram of beef. We asked 14 people and we want to know the weight of the beef we need, so we'll put an X there. We cross multiply. I'll get the cross product. X times 4 or 4X equals 14 times 450. Units are important, so I'll keep that as grams. And then X. becomes 6,300 divided by 4. So x equals 1, 5, 7, 5 grams. And that's the answer.
Because this sum is simple, um, we can do a quick check. So say we were doing multiples of 4. So for 12 people, uh, multiple of 4 is 3. So it would be 3 times 450. And then we want to make 14 another say two people would be half that so it would be 225 grams and then we want to add 225 grams so that would be 1350 plus 225 gives us 1575 grams and that's just a double check which is a currency conversion question we want to exchange pounds to euros and the conversion rate is one pound to 1.38 euros proportion question draw a square the known ratio pounds euros the known ratio is one to 1.38 and we need to know how many pounds we're going to get back for 225 euros cross multiplying we get x 1.38 equals 225 so x which is how many pounds we'll get back it would be 225 over 1.38 similarly in this one uh, we get one pound the exchange rate is for every one pound we get 2.32 Swiss francs again let's draw a square label so we know where our entries will go. Our known ratio, which is 1 to 2.32. We want to know how many pounds we'll get back. And we're going to exchange 55 francs. Cross multiply. X times 2.32 equals 55 so x equals 55 over 2.32 which is 23 pounds and 70 and that is the answer 23 pounds and 70 in this question we're giving given a ratio uh, from a map We'll, usually it's 1 to 50,000 on an ordnance map but for this question we've been given the ratio 1 to 5,000 again this is a proportion question draw a little square with, with four divisions in our known ratio map the distance actual on the ground so the map ratio is 1 to 5000 we want to know what 2 centimeters on the map will equal so this is the x this is the unknown so we cross multiply got cost product so x equals 2 times 5,000 which equals 10,000 centimeters and that's the answer if you want that in meters we divide by 100 so that would equal 100 meters 
If you want the answer in kilometers, divide by a thousand, and you would get 0 0.1 kilometers. Remember when we're doing the original entries into our proportion square, the units must be the same. So on the map, one centimeter equals 5,000 in proportion on the on the um, ratio, sorry, 1 to 5,000 centimetres and then 2 centimetres and the answer we will get is in centimetres. Let's have a go at this one. So how many centimetres on the map will 0.25 kilometres represent? So again, call it a square. That's our known ratio. This is the map. Is the ground. So we want to enter the known ratio which is 1 to 5,000. Now on the ground 0.25 kilometers we've got it in centimeters so we want to convert the 0.25 into centimeters so that becomes 2,5 Zero, zero, zero. And then we want to know what that represents on the map. So then we cross multiply. 5000x equals 25000. Zero, zero, zero. So x is 25000 divided by 5000. Cross those off. 5 into 25 goes 5. So the answer will be 5 centimeters. That is the answer. John invests his savings in two accounts, a gold and a silver account. So one account is called a gold account and the other a silver account in the ratio 3 to 7. He invests £3,600 in the gold account. How much in the silver? So 3 times the multiplication factor x equals 3,600. So therefore x that's the multiplication factor x equals 1200 so now we just multiply the silver which is 7 times the same multiplication factor as we multiplied the gold account by so that's 7 times 1,200 and we get 8,400 and that's how much was in the silver account. In the party the ratio of girls to boys is 3 to 5. If there's 26 more girls, no, if there's 26 more boys than girls, so that's important. The order is important. How many children are at the party? So, the girls to boys. Is 3 to 5. That's the ratio. So, if we have 5x minus 3x. We have... 26, 2x equals 26, so x which is the multiplication factor is 13. So for the girls it's 3 times the multiplication factor which is 39 girls. And for the boys, it's 5 times 
13, which is 65. And the total children we get 104. And that is the answer. Alan, Betty and Carol in a test score have uh, the ratio, Alan and Betty have the ratio 5 to 3. Alan scores 10 more than Betty, work out their scores. So we've got a ratio and then we've got another ratio which is equal we can use in this case. Let's use proportions. So let's make our little square. That's the ratio we know. This is Alan and this is Betty. So the ratio we know is Alan to Betty, 5 to 3. Alan is 10 more than Betty, so that's B plus 10. And Betty goes there. So now let's cross multiply. Get cross products. So 5 B equals 3 B plus 10 let's get rid of the brackets so that becomes 3 B plus 30 bring the B's to one side so that becomes 5 B minus 3 B equals 30 2 B equals So Betty has a score of 15 and Alan has 10 more so Alan has a score of 25.